The Lord is near to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desire of all that fear him, hears their cry, and saves them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Well, welcome to All Saints Church here in Rosebud for this Eucharist service on the eighth Sunday after Pentecost. Today we celebrate the great love of God that not only gives us life, but also sustains that life with the food of the Eucharist, the love of God made visible in Christ our Lord. And so join us as we begin with our first hymn, When Morning Gilds the Skies. So join with us as we say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Jesus said, This is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. And so let us now confess our sins in penitence and faith, confident in God's forgiveness. Merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us, strengthen us to love and obey you in newness of life. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to him in faith, pardon you and set you free from all your sins, strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. giver of life and health, whose Son, Jesus Christ, has called us to hunger and thirst for justice. Refresh us with your grace, that we may not be weary in well-doing, for the sake of him who meets our needs, Jesus Christ, our Saviour, who lives and reigns with you in unity with the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob got up, took his two wives, his two maids, and his eleven children, and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. He took them and sent them across the stream, and likewise everything that he had. Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he struck him on the hip socket, and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, Let me go, for the day is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. Then the man said, You shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For you have striven with God and with humans, and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him, Please tell me your name. But he said, Why is it that you ask my name? And there he blessed him. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, For I have seen God face to face, and yet my life is preserved. The sun rose upon him as he passed Penuel, limping because of his hip. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, Show me, O Lord, your loving kindness. Show me, O Lord, your loving kindness. Hear my plea of innocence, O Lord. Give heed to my cry. Listen to my prayer, which does not come from lying lips. Let my vindication come forth from your presence. Let your eyes be fixed on justice. Show me, O Lord, your loving kindness. Weigh my heart. Summon me by night. Melt me down. You will find no impurity in me. 
I give no offence with my mouth as others do. I have heeded the words of your lips. Show me, O Lord, your loving kindness. My footsteps hold fast to the ways of your law. In your paths my feet shall not stumble. I call upon you, O God, for you will answer me. Incline your ear to me and hear my words. Show me, O Lord, your loving kindness. Show me your marvellous loving kindness. O Saviour of those who take refuge at your right hand from those who rise up against them. But at my vindication I shall see your face. When I awake I shall be satisfied, beholding your likeness. Show me, O Lord, your loving kindness. reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. I am speaking the truth in Christ, I am not lying. My conscience confirms it by the Holy Spirit. I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are Israelites, and to them belong the adoption the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship and the promises. To them belong the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, comes the Messiah who is over all. God blessed for ever. Amen. It is not as though the word of God had failed, for not all Israelites truly belong to Israel, and not all of Abraham's children are his true descendants, but it is through Isaac that descendants shall be named for you. This means that it is not the children of the flesh who are the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted as descendants. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus heard that Herod had beheaded John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them and cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and the hour is now late. Send the crowds away, so that they may go into the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. They replied, We have nothing here but five loaves and two fish. And he said, Bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds. And all ate and were filled. And they took up what was left over of the broken pieces, twelve baskets full. And those who ate were about five thousand men besides women and children. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's now pray for the church and for the world, and let's thank God for his goodness. So we pray for our church, we pray for this, our parish community, praying that we may share joyfully with the poor, the hungry and the forgotten, all that God has given to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our bishops, Philip and Paul, for all priests and deacons, 
for all who minister in our churches. We pray that they may teach us with great wisdom, insight and godliness. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. We pray for the leaders of governments and nations throughout this world, that they may work to ensure the blessings of food, water and health care for every member of the human family. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our state of Victoria during this time of pandemic, praying especially for our state government, for all who are working to bring the spread of this virus under control. For all nurses, doctors and first responders, for those in aged care facilities who are suffering so much at this time. And for all who are anxious and fearful, as well as those mourning the loss of loved ones. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick and who are known to us. We think of our own families and friends, our neighbours and associates. We've been asked to pray by name for Chris McGregor, Tony Stevens, Ron Warwick, Diane Ward, Rachel Hopkins, Andrea Wales, Taylor Miranda Reese, Kay Calro, Cody Steele, Edie Morris, Vera, uh, Vera Healy, Isaac, Kelly, Brendan, Marissa, Keith, Craig, Jono and Diane. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. And we remember those who have died in the peace of Christ, praying that they may take their places at the banquet of heaven. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in a moment of quiet, let's now offer up to God our own private thoughts and prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the abundance of your kindness, O Lord, hear our prayers. May we give you thanks for what you have given us by giving joyfully to others. May we embrace your spirit of love by loving one another with selflessness and compassion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Christ has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have these gifts to share. Accept and use our offerings for your glory and for the service of your kingdom. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. All glory and honour be yours always and everywhere, mighty Creator, ever living God. We give you thanks and praise for our Saviour Jesus Christ, who by the power of your Spirit was born of Mary and lived as one of us. By his death on the cross and rising to new life, he offered the one true sacrifice for sin and obtained an eternal deliverance for his people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Merciful God, we thank you for these gifts of your creation, this bread and wine. And we pray that by your word and Holy Spirit, we who eat and drink them may be partakers of Christ's body and blood. On the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread. And when he had given you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. This is my body, given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup, and again giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore we do as our Saviour has commanded, proclaiming his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. His mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again, we celebrate with this bread and this cup his one perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. Renew us by your Holy Spirit, unite us in the body of your Son, and bring us with all your people into the joy of your eternal kingdom, through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom and in whom, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father, in songs of never-ending praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power are yours forever and ever. Saviour Christ has taught us, we are confident to pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of God. Now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We who are many are one body, for we all share in one bread. Come, let us take this holy sacrament of the body and blood of Christ in remembrance that he died for us and feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
gracious God, we thank you that in this sacrament you assure us of your goodness and love. Accept our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving and help us to grow in love and obedience that we may serve you in the world and finally be brought to that table where all your saints feast with you forever. Father, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrament. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Let's sing our final hymn, number 613, Lord of All Hopefulness. serve the Lord in the name of Christ.